This video is about how to fix high CPU usage and low GPU usage in Battlefield 6. Before doing these optimizations, I was barely getting around 40 FPS and the game was stuttering like crazy. But after applying all these tweaks and fixes, my FPS jumped all the way up to 144 FPS and the gameplay became way smoother. No more lag spikes or random drops. So make sure to subscribe and drop a like on this video. All right, first, let's clear out your old DirectX shader cache. Here's what to do. Search for disk cleanup in the start menu. Select your C drive. Check DirectX shader cache. Hit OK and confirm delete files. What this does is remove outdated shader data that Battlefield keeps reloading. When these files become corrupted, they force your GPU to recompile shaders mid-game, causing those micro stutters you feel when explosions happen or when you move through new areas. After deleting, the game will rebuild clean shader files the next time you launch, leading to smoother performance and faster texture streaming. Next, we're going to disable HPET, or the High Precision Event Timer. Here's how to do it. Right click on the start menu and open device manager. Scroll down and expand system devices. Find high precision event timer. Right click and choose disable device. Once disabled, your system will use faster and more efficient timers. This reduces CPU scheduling latency and improves overall responsiveness, helping your GPU stay active instead of waiting for the CPU. You'll often see higher GPU usage and smoother frame times after this change. Now we're going to apply the RIPEX Battlefield 6 Optimization Pack, a collection of advanced tweaks that target both CPU and GPU performance. You can grab this pack from the link in the video description. Let's open the main folder and go through what each section does. First, here we got CPU Priority Folder. Inside this folder, you'll find AMD and Intel versions. Run the one that matches your CPU. This tweak increases Battlefield 6's process priority and optimizes how your CPU cores handle game threads, giving more focus to game logic and less to background tasks. Next, we got CPU optimization. Here we have several key reg files. Disable game DVR stops background recording services that eat CPU. Disable Spectre and Meltdown removes unnecessary CPU patches that slow down performance in gaming. Improve CPU responsiveness, fine-tune system interrupts and scheduling for smoother gameplay. Win32 Priority.reg ensures games always get top thread priority over other apps. Together, these free up CPU resources and drastically reduce random stuttering. Now that we've done the basic CPU tweaks, let's move on to Quick CPU, which is one of the most powerful tools to unlock your processor's full potential for Battlefield 6. So first, go into the CPU core tweaking folder and install Quick CPU, just like any normal program. Once it's installed, right click on it and select Run as Administrator. When Quick CPU opens, the first thing you want to do is make sure your active power plan is set to ultimate performance or high performance power plan. That's the one included inside the optimization pack. Next, make sure that all of these sliders, processor performance core parking, frequency scaling, and turbo boost are all set to 100%. This ensures that your CPU cores are always fully active and not parked in the background, which can cause stutters and low FPS in Battlefield 6. Then, make sure your AC profile is selected instead of DC. AC mode gives you maximum power and performance while plugged in. Before closing Quick CPU, take a look at your CPU temperature in the bottom bar. Make sure it's staying below 80 degrees Celsius during gameplay. If it's going higher, it's a good idea to clean your CPU cooler, reapply thermal paste, or slightly lower your power limits. After applying these quick CPU settings, you'll notice that Battlefield 6 feels way smoother. Fewer stutters, faster frame pacing, and your GPU will finally start hitting full utilization. Next, in GPU Optimization, Tweaks folder, you'll see options for Low Med Optimization and the Med High Optimization. If you're on a low-end or mid-tier GPU, use the Low Med version. For RTX users or higher-end cards, go with the Med High one. These files adjust how DirectX and the driver handle texture, 
preloading, power limit, and VRAM allocation, improving GPU efficiency. Next, we got GPU thread optimization folder. This folder contains three reg files for AMD, Intel, run the one for your GPU brand. It adjusts GPU threading priority and timing synchronization, helping your graphics card work more efficiently with the CPU and reducing CPU bottlenecks. Next, open MSI utility folder. Now, this one's extremely important. Open MSI, you'll see all your devices listed. Scroll down to your GPU, for example, NVIDIA GeForce RTX. Tick the MSI mode checkbox and set interrupt priority to high. Click apply. This enables message signaled interrupts, which reduce input lag and improve real-time GPU communication. It's one of the most powerful hidden tweaks for latency sensitive games like Battlefield 6. Finally, we got Battlefield 6 Priority Folder. This folder lets you choose how Battlefield 6 runs in terms of priority. BF6, highpriority.reg, maximum performance, best for desktops. BF6, above normal priority.reg, balanced option for gaming plus background apps. BF6, normal priority.reg arrow, default setting to revert back. Apply the high priority reg for the best FPS and fastest frame delivery. Once you've applied all these tweaks, restart your PC. These changes together will make sure Battlefield 6 fully utilizes both your CPU and GPU, balancing the load perfectly for higher, more stable FPS. Now let's fine tune your Nvidia control panel for Battlefield 6. Right click on your desktop. Open Nvidia control panel. Go to Manage 3D Settings, Global Settings. Now copy these settings. Finally, go to Display, adjust Desktop Color Settings, and under Digital Vibrance, raise it to around 60 to 70% for better visual clarity. This won't improve FPS, but it makes spotting enemies easier in darker maps. All right guys, now in the final and the last step, let's jump straight into the in-game graphics settings for the best performance and smoothness possible. First things first, make sure your graphics preset is set to custom and the quality is also on custom. Camera settings are mostly personal preference, but one thing you should always do is set your field of view, FOV, to the maximum. Next, let's talk about visual clarity. Turn world motion blur off. It just makes everything look smeared during movement. Same thing for camera shake and film grain. Disable both. Also, reduce camera bobbing for a more stable and cleaner view while moving around. Trust me, once you play without motion, blur and shake, your aim feels way more consistent. Now let's move into the actual graphics quality section and I'll show you what I found to be the best competitive settings. Start with texture quality, set it to low. Same for texture filtering, keep it low as well. Next is mesh quality. This controls how detailed objects like trees, rocks and small debris look in the distance. You can keep it on medium if you like a bit more detail, but for pure performance, low or medium is the sweet spot. Then we have rain quality. I personally set this to medium or high. You don't want the game to look like a potato, so keeping rain at medium keeps visuals nice without sacrificing much performance. Undergrowth, vegetation, small rocks, and similar details should all be set to low. These don't affect gameplay and just waste performance. Same for effects quality, volumetric lighting, and all those extra lighting options. Keep them low for a cleaner, faster game. Now for the local light and shadow quality, this one hits your GPU and CPU hard. Also set sun shadow quality to low. For shadow filtering, I recommend PCF. It gives a smoother, softer shadow look that's less distracting. Reflections, screen space reflections, and post-processing should all be low or off. They don't add much to gameplay and just eat frames. Ambient occlusion, AO and global illumination, GI, turn both off. They only affect the lighting depth and won't help you play better. The high fidelity object amount controls how detailed characters and vehicles appear. If your CPU and GPU can handle it, you can keep it high for immersion. But if you're on a low end system, set it to low. It saves a lot of performance and the difference isn't that noticeable during gameplay. Now, make sure brightness is around 60 and sharpness is enabled. 
This adds some extra clarity without hurting performance. Resolution scale should always stay at 100% if you're on 1080p. Frame rate limiter. Turn it off to unlock your full FPS potential. Dynamic resolution scaling, also off. Enable NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency Mode and set it to enabled plus boost for the lowest possible input delay. For anti-aliasing, use TAA if you want the best performance or DAA for slightly sharper edges and better visuals. Avoid frame generation. It adds fake frames using AI, which increases input lag and ruins responsiveness. If you like monitoring performance, you can enable the performance overlay to check FPS, frame time, and latency in real time. Now restart your PC, launch Battlefield 6, and test your FPS again. You should see your GPU usage closer to 95 to 99%, your CPU running cooler, and overall smoother gameplay with reduced frame time spikes. And that's it, the complete Battlefield 6 optimization and stutter fix guide. If this helped you, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment what FPS you're getting now after applying these tweaks. Thanks for watching, this is Ripex, and I'll see you in the next one.